management system is characterized by convenient commissioning. Especially in larger projects, this can sometimes become quite demanding. Today, we'll show you how LiveLink supports you in this process and which advantages the LiveLink One app offers. Hello, my name is Marcus. I am Business Development Manager at Trilux and your contact for all questions regarding our light. Hi, I'm Ralph, Product Manager for Lighting Management and IoT Systems. As you already know from the previous episodes, we differentiate between LiveLink and LiveLink Premium. LiveLink Premium is our system for large-scale projects. With LiveLink Premium and the LiveLink One app, we offer you the possibility to import complete lighting designs into the system using a DXF file. This file contains the building plan, the building structure, as well as the planned positions of all luminaires, sensors, and push buttons. Afterwards, all physically connected Dolly devices are assigned to the corresponding positions on the plan. Groups can also be defined using the plan, and sensors can be linked to the luminaires. We'll now show you how it all works in the app. We've prepared a LiveLink Premium system here to show you, step by step, how to configure it based on a lighting plan. The first step in the LiveLink Premium system is to assign the Dolly Ethernet gateways, that is, the Dolly lines, to the system. To do this, we switch to the Devices menu. In this case, we find two DALI lines that we first need to register with the system. To do this, we simply select Add All. Next, we still need to start the DALI search, which means searching for all connected DALI devices by selecting the option Search All DALI Lines. Since this takes a little time, we'll meanwhile go to the Structure section to import a lighting plan. As Marcus already mentioned, to do this, we select Import to import a DXF file from the tablet. Using the DXF file, for example based on a Relux plan, we can directly import the building plan, the building structure, as well as all positions of the luminaires, sensors, and push buttons. I simply select the file for this. It is checked, and I can import it into the system. First, we see the building structure. This structure can be modified as needed by adding floors, rooms, or importing additional lighting plans, for example, more floors, or even additional buildings. In the meantime, the Dolly search has most likely been completed, and we switch back to the Devices section. Here, we can see that eight luminaires, two sensors, and a push-button coupler have been found on a Dolly line. To import these into the lighting plan, we select the Dolly line. We then see all connected Dolly devices and, via the device assignment in the top right, can add all devices into the building plan. For this, we select the plan view, see the building plan with all luminaires, represented here by the points in the plan, and thus bring the devices from the Dolly line into the building plan. For this, we select a Dolly luminaire. It provides feedback in the room by flashing and I can then easily place it into the building plan by tapping a luminaire position in the plan. Of course, I can also remove it from that position again. I can add positions as needed and flexibly assign all my Dolly devices into the building plan. Here, for example, we can see that there are no sensors in the building plan. To add this missing sensor position, I simply tap on any spot in the building plan, insert the sensor position, and can now place one of the connected sensors into the plan. We then continue this process with all connected Dolly devices and apply it across all Dolly lines.
One of the major advantages of commissioning using the building plan and LiveLink is that the plan you create is not fixed. If you notice on-site that you have placed one luminaire too many, one too few, or a sensor or push button in the wrong place, you can adjust this at any time with minimal effort. Another major advantage of commissioning via the building plan is that you no longer need to walk through the hall to wait for blink signals or feedback from the devices when creating groups or scenes. You can do this directly in the building plan. And how exactly that works, Ralph will now show you again in the app. In the meantime, I have already added all the connected DALI devices to the building plan. In our example here, we only have eight luminaires, two sensors, and one push-button coupler. This means that all other positions in the building plan remain free. And in the next step, as Marcus has already mentioned, we create luminaire groups directly in the building plan. To do this, we select the Groups menu item and directly see the building plan with the assigned DALI devices. We can now create a group using the plus button at the bottom right. Instead of selecting the luminaires one by one and making them blink to identify the right ones, I can create the groups directly in the building plan. To do this, I can either select them individually or draw a rectangle with my finger to capture all relevant luminaires and sensors and assign them to the group. By tapping the Apply button, these are accepted and marked in black. This way, we have easily created a luminaire group directly. In the next step, we create light scenes. For this, we go to the Scenes menu and select the Add Scene option. We name this scene, for example, Auto. Next, we need to assign the corresponding group to this scene. To do this, we select the scene and the luminaire group. This can be done either via the side panel, listing the groups, or directly in the building plan. Here, we can assign the luminaire groups to the scene by tapping Select again. The app now presents the groups that we can add to the scene. I select the group, go back one step, and now this luminaire group is assigned to the scene. To configure this group within the scene, we then select the group and can now set presence detection, brightness, and color temperature for this specific group in the overview you are already familiar with. I think this shows how helpful it is to use a lighting plan with an integrated building plan to configure large projects, such as office buildings, or even industrial and logistics halls, making it very convenient and easy to put them into operation. Finally, we would also like to mention that we can create a commissioning log from the app. This is also helpful for your documentation because this commissioning log contains the entire configuration of the system. In addition, you can also create a backup of the system to restore a system state if needed. However, we also describe all the detailed steps in our commissioning manual for LiveLink Premium Systems, which is available to download from our website. And by the way, if a DALI error has crept into your system, you can recognize it yourself on the building plan. As you can see, it's not without good reason that we received the German Design Award for the LiveLink One app this year. Do you want to know more about this? Or would you like to find out what else LiveLink can do? Then check out the following episodes. And if you have any questions in the meantime, send me an email, give me a call, visit us at a trade fair, or just come by and explore the world of Trilux at our headquarters at Arnsberg, Germany. We look forward to seeing you. Until then, all the best. Bye and see you soon.